Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back to the third video in this Hangman Pi Game tutorial series. Um, in the last two videos, we've created the file that loads all the words so we can use in the Hangman game. We also created a bunch, bunch of functions which will allow us to draw the actual Hangman character onto the screen. What we're going to go ahead with today is we're going to create a bunch of functions that will a firstly allow us to select the random word which will be used in the Pi Game Hangman. Um, the next thing we'll do is we'll create a function that will allow us to draw those the little lines for each letter of the word that has been randomly chosen that will be drawn to the screen. Um, the next thing we will do is then draw uh, the alphabet, create the alphabet and draw that alphabet to the screen, um, which we'll then be using later on uh, to be able to click on those alphabets, buttons, we'll click on the buttons and that will then translate to the letter that we've selected to see if it matches any of the letters in the word. Alright, that was quite a mouthful, so I think let's just get into the code, um, get started and see how we come along. I'm going to go ahead and come down to the bottom of our, our entire Pi game our infrastructure here. And I think I want to get down to, if I have it correct, I want to come down here to our, uh, I believe it's under the game variables and load functions. Oh, there's a spelling mistake. And load functions. So when we're looking here at our game variables and our loading, fun loading of functions, um, we've got our number of guesses variable. The next one we want to go with, we're going to call it chosen word. And that chosen word is going to come from uh, a function which we need to create. We're going to call that function select random word um, and I'm going to call the method uh, the fun uh, method dot upper. All right so we obviously don't have this function just yet. We need to go up and create it. We're going to go up and create that function. I believe it lies under our utility functions. We can just use it there. Uh, dev Select random word. All right, and in this function, what we're going to do is we're just going to straightforward and quite simply. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. We're just going to straightforward select a random word from the word list. Okay, straightforward, not fast, we're just going to return random dot choice and the sequence will be word list. Straightforward, simple and easy. No, 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 no mess, no frills, no fuss. So once we've got our random word, our chosen word, sorry, the next thing we need to do is come down again. And uh, okay, now we've got our chosen word. The next thing we need is our guess word. So, all right, so that's, this is going to be now a list and it's going to be populated at the moment by spaces for letter in chosen word. Okay, so that's just a list comprehension. For each letter in chosen word, we're going to have a space in our guest word. What that means, what it looks like, is we can quickly print chosen word to see what our chosen word is, and then we can print guess word. And if we go ahead and we play that, the game will obviously pop up now. There you can see our chosen word is fast, and then we have one, two, three, four. Simple, straightforward, that's what we have. So obviously what this means is once we've, to, when we select a letter for our word in the hangman game, if it is within that word, the letter that we've chosen, it then finds a spot in this list where it should be and it will then replace the space with that letter. Okay, and you will see with the impact of that as we carry on, because what we're going to add now is our drawing the letters to the screen. So what we need to do is to draw those letters to the screen. 
we're going to go with a function up in our utilities and we're going to call it let me just minimize that okay make a space if we're going to call this draw letter lines and we need the word for that so we're going to draw lines for Right. So the word length x is a variable that we need. We're going to need to really take the length of the word and we're going to multiply it by 25 pixels plus 15 pixels for the space in between each one of the letters. So if the length of my word in the last example was fast, the length would then be 4. So that would be 25 pixels length. For the letter itself plus a 15 uh, pixel space then the a would be 25 letter 25 pixels plus 15 space then the s would be 25 pixels plus 15 space so that's what my word length is calculated to be then we're going to do the start x y of our word lines there's going to be a list comprehension screen width minus 50 minus the word Length x and 350. That's not a list comprehension, it's just a straightforward list. All right, it could actually be a tuple, that doesn't matter. All right, and then my length xy is going to be 35, 0. So that's the length of each line, if I have it correct. Yes. And then the spacing between my lines is going to equal 15, 0. Great. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use our for in and letter letter in the enumerate function, enumerate the word, okay, we're going to draw a plug in, but draw dot line, we're going to draw it to the game screen, it's going to be white with the color, and then we're going to hit the starting point of each line, the starting point is going to be the start x, y, zero, Start xy one. So that's my xy positions, which we have already over here in my variables. All right. The next thing we're going to, and then we're going to, and then the end point of the line is going to be my start xy position x plus the length uh, xy. Zero. And then my y position is going to be start x, y, position y, uh, plus my length x, y, position y. Okay. And then the th line thickness is always going to be 3. That does not change. Okay. Now, once you've drawn the first line for each letter, so we've drawn one line for each letter, it's just going to stay drawn on the same spot. Okay. Once you've drawn the line, we still need to go and actually blit that line to the screen. What do we need to blit to the line? Uh, what we are blitting to the screen is my draw letters function, which we haven't made yet. So we do need to go back and create that function too. And I'll explain to you what it is in a moment. Guest word. Draw letters, guess word, space, and then my position for that letter is going to be in the start x, y position 0 plus 10 pixels, and then the y position will be 320. All right. So we're just going to comment that line out for now quickly. We'll just comment it out. Just ignore it quickly. I just want to finish this part of the, the function. So my start x, y, 0, right, including this one. Once we've 
once we've gone ahead and we've drawn this plug in dot draw dot line, the first line, we're going to move on to the next letter, and then we need to draw, move the line for that letter onwards. So my start xy position will then be equal to start xy plus my length xy position zero at x plus spacing position x. Okay, so my start xy, which will be at the this position plus my length, which is 25, plus my spacing, which is 15. Right. So then my new start XY position will be in And we do the same for my Y position. X1 plus length X1 plus spacing X1. Spacing is not XY, spacing is just straightforward. Okay, I need that one there, that's a capital Y. All right, so for each letter of the word, it's going to draw the line for that letter, and it's going to add to my starting position for each line. I'm going to do this. All right, so once we've gone ahead and done that, what we could actually do, now remember now, we're doing draw letter lines. We're drawing lines for each letter of my guess word. Okay, so to draw the letter lines, we call this function in our main game loop. In our main game loop, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, above my draw hand main function. Okay, so here we're going to say draw letter lines, and the word will be chosen. The argument that we put in, chosen. So if I play this, we should see three letters sitting up against the screen for the chosen word. Our chosen word is life. There's four letters. And we have four lines up on the screen for those letters. All right, we still have three, the head, the arm, and the body. And that's because we are, we've really we hard-coded what our number of guesses has been already. The main point of this function was so that we could get this up on the screen if I close it and we allow the system to close and we then run the run the program again. It chooses a new word, scissors. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters in the word. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters appearing up on screen. Which is perfect. That is what we wanted. So we had some right position we had with the positioning of it. The next thing we're going to do is if we have the words of that letter, scissors, if we have the words we need those letters to, as we said we replace the letters inside here, we then need to draw those letters to the screen. Now in order to do that there's a couple of functions that we're going to have to create. Um, I think the function we should start with will be B, the drawing the letters, draw the letters, drawing the letters. Okay. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back up to the top now of our utility functions. Yeah, just above our draw letter lines, we're going to create another function. We're going to call it draw letters. Straightforward. And what we want to pass to it is the argument letter. All right. And this is straightforward. Creates the image object. No, not the image object. It's the font object with text on the screen. Okay. Straightforward. We just create a variable called text. And with text we can say plugin dot font dot this font and we're going to call it Comic Sans. Now here's my space there. Comic Sans. Uh, small letter there. Comic Sans. Size is going to be 22. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have print text, which is the text that we want to print. Print text is going to be text dot render. So this will be the letter, the 
text text dot render letter no, 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 no. text of render letter one and it's going to be white okay. and of course we want to return to print text to the screen right we're going to come back down here to our for individual letter in an enumerate word I am draw line da, 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 da. This part of that I'm going to actually flip to screen, draw letters, guest word, and guest word. Oh, wait, we've got a guest word. Where is it? Where is it? Guest word. Okay, so we have to correct that spelling. Guess word. There we go. What this is doing is now, as we move through each letter of our word, of the chosen word, we're going to draw a line for the number, for each one of the letters of the actual word being that selected. Then we're going to blit to the screen each individual letter that has already been chosen and was and actually fell within guest word. That's what this little function line does here. Right. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do is, I think, I think we need to draw, create, and draw the alphabet and the alphabet buttons to the screen. So this is going to be a fairly large bit of the code because we're going to create the button objects that we're going to interact with. Um, we're going to create them as objects to interact with. It's going to make it easier because there's a, a little bit of functionality that we want to put on the buttons. So in order for that to happen, we are going to create a button function, a hangman button function. Right at the top here, in the hangman button objects, we're going to say class hangman button. Right, we're going to go ahead with our bundle method. Self. I'm going to give it some arguments. We're going to give it a position. We're going to give it an image. And we're going to give it a letter. Okay. So the self dot position is equal to position self dot letter is equal to letter. There we go. Uh, self dot image is equal to image. Self.image rect is equal to rect. I'm not just getting the, the get rect method, I'm actually going to create a, a rectangle around these letters. Um, I find that it works just quite a bit easier. And also, I want to draw that rectangle around the, the, the letters, which we will see shortly. I'm also changing the position of the rectangle just slightly. Box is going to be size 30, 30. Okay, and then the last thing is for this button, we want to know later on when we click the button, is it going to be active or is it not active anymore? So self.active is equal to true because it is active. All right, now we've gone ahead and created our initiation, the init method for our hangman button class. We now want to create a, the first method. The first method we're going to get in is the draw method. So we're going to define draw self window. We'll give you arguments that are passed to it. Ooh, I've not duplicated the self over there. Okay. So just a little comment. Draw the letter to the screen with a box around it. Easy, straightforward. Okay, the first one there is. We're going to do a check to see if the self button is active. Right. And if this button is still active, we're going to say window.blit self.image self.position. So that's the image of the button and the position of the button. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go again, again.draw.rect for 
window is going to be white. And then where this rectangle is going to be located is going to be self.image rect zero. Self.image rect one. Self.image rect two. Okay, so if self.active, all right, so that's the draw map button. That's my hangman button class. So in my hangman button class, we've created a draw function. All right, we now need to go down to our main game loop, I believe it is. Oh, just before our main game, we've created the alphabet buttons. We need to create a function that's going to create those buttons. So, in order to create those buttons, we need to create the alphabet. So, let's go down to our utility functions. And they're just above, or just below, draw letter lines. Yeah, we're going to say define functions, going to be create. This is creates the alphabet objects for green. Okay. Let's write the alphabet is equal to ABCDEGHRJKLMNOPQRNSTUWX1Z. There should be 26 there. 26 characters, 26 characters, great. Alphabet, then the X position is going to be 200. Oh, no, caps lock on. X, X plus is equal to 100. Then our Y pose is equal to 500. All right. Then our get number is going to be equal to 0. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to create, a basically print all of these buttons to the screen, but they are not all going to fit in one line. So we need to make this fit in three lines. So we're going to go for num in, in line nine eight. Okay. For underscore. that we have not created yet. So let's go down to our list, word list, open file, alphabet buttons is equal, is equal to an empty list. So in alphabet buttons, dot append, and then we're going to create the hangman button. And the arguments we need is the x pose, which we just created here. Okay, and then we're going to call a function draw letters. All right, and that one is going to be from our alphabet let num. So our let num is zero. So our alphabet let num. So in the alphabet let num, which is zero, it's going to be A. Right. Let num. Right, comma. And then alphabet. Let num. All right. Once we've done that. Going to create our let num. I will not create, we're going to increase our let num by one. We're going to increase our x points by 
50. And then in the second for loop, our x plus gets reset back to 100. And our y plus must then increase by 40. All right, so that's our create alphabet function. Once we've created the alphabet function, we then still need to draw that alphabet function to the screen. Diff draw alphabet to the window. No, not to list. Okay. So now I'm going to say draws the alphabet to the screen. I wish that for this word. Function for each of these uh, button objects. Draw item. Item to draw to the screen. All right. Once we've done that, we're going to also to the game screen. We're going to game game screen. We're going to split another item. No, we'll do that later. We're not there yet. Let's not just complicate things. Okay, I will draw to the game screen. Right, so we've got our create outfit, we've got our draw outfit. So as we go along, okay, as we go along, we're gonna go down, 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 down. When we get to game variables and loading functions right over there we're going to go ahead and we're going to call our create alphabet function open that alphabet function so that will now create the alphabet to our screen or to our to the list and now we need to draw that alphabet to the screen and in order to do that we're going to come down here where we've got draw letter lines we've got draw the hangman in between there we're going to draw alphabet and the item list is going to be alpha uh, alphabet buttons if we go oh, we've been doing all of this with the game still running that's not good Anyway, if we go here and we play this thing now, we should get an alphabet to print it to the screen. Nope, something has been broken. Line 18, line 18. Line 18. Oh, what is that? It's not blur, it's blit. Shall we try again? And there we are, folks. We have just got our alphabet printed to the screen, we have our hangman, our gallows, we have the alphabet on the screen, so these will be our buttons that we will be interacting with from using the mouse, and this is where the word will appear as we select our buttons. I think that's where we're going to end the video today, thank you very much for your time, I hope you found this video easy to follow, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I will see you in the next one, bye for now.